Welcome digital citizens to your weekly preview for EDTP 580 Digital Citizenship. This is for the week of June the 11th through June the 15th. These videos will come to you every Friday uh, while class is in session that will help you be prepared for what we'll be doing the following week. You do not necessarily have to do anything these are just for your information so you can understand what we'll be up to that week. The first thing I want you to do, though, as a part of being a member of this class, is on the Start Here page, scroll down to where you see this, which is called a flip grid. Flip grids are used for the purposes of people who are in different uh, countries, people who are in different parts of the program, or in our case for people who are taking a class that meets face to face uh, but also meets online. It's called a blended classes and this is a way for us to kind of get to know who is in our class. To get to it Flipgrid has wisely instituted a password protection system. You're going to have to log in with a password and this is the password capital U capital L lowercase i, lowercase t, equal sign, the numbers 241. When you do that, it takes you to an area where I've already thrown my little video in, uh, and there's a great big plus sign sitting here. It's waiting for you to click on it, follow the directions, follow the next, please decorate it. I kind of just threw a hat on, but try to make it be unique and give us a sense of who you are. If you're a teacher with a class, tell us that. Tell us where you teach. If you want to become a teacher, tell us what kind of teacher you want to become. It's that simple. It says it right up here. I hope that you will enjoy doing this. It makes it very, very simple for us to uh, see each other and know who we are. Those of you who will be coming in through the Collaborate, you will be using this link right here. Uh, that link will, when you click on it, will start up the Collaborate Ultra. And as you can see, this is your session right here. And then you will join the session right here. Now, when you can't be here, for the class on the same time and date that the class meets, no harm, no foul. If you come into the Collaborate, click on these pancakes, yes, that's actually their name, they're called pancakes, you'll see that the list of the recordings that you can watch will be right here. And so if you can't make it to a class, either in person or if you're in the online there'll be recordings here. If something in class didn't make sense to you and you didn't have time or you were a little afraid to ask, the recordings will be there for you. Everyone can access these. Now let's talk about what we're going to be doing. The class is divided up into modules. Each module represents a topic a focus of the bigger idea of digital citizenship. We will be making, starting next week, projects that we will enshrine into an e-portfolio. I'm sure you're very familiar with the idea of having a notebook for class, a folder, and you come in, you pick it up, you do work, you put it in there, you give it to the instructor, it gets graded. Well, we don't do that. That's the old way. We're going to use something called a wiki. And a wiki is there for you to demonstrate your understandings of what we're going to be learning about in this class using a multitude of technology tools. Most of them will be along the lines of Web 2.0 apps. Most of the apps will require a username and password, which I will gladly give you, and you will create and then you're going to eventually put everything into this, which is called a PBWorks Wiki. Uh, 
Thank you to Morgan for catching on to the fact that this was the wrong link. This works now. All you need to do is to go in and click on the Get Started button. Go to the EduHub and click on the free account. Fill it out. Make sure you use your U of L email in it. That way it can verify that you are a student. And once you've done that, then you'll be all set to go. Now, if you don't see this, if you don't catch it, no harm, no foul. We'll be doing this in class to make sure that everybody understands what we're up to. But this is what we'll be using. It's called PB Works. Now let me show you the resources and how this class will work. You can see here that if you click on the link where the folder icon is, here is information for you on how to create a PB Works. It's all right here. You have to go down two levels. Sorry about that. And I'm a big believer in having links, video, and paper. So if you need something in your hands that will be a way for you to understand how we're doing this, we do it in multiple ways. It's called differentiated instruction. And as you can see here, here are some other resources that the first module talks about. This is where you can go in and decide which one of these videos you'll want to put into your wiki and respond to. We're going to teach you how to do that. Your wiki is a very, very powerful tool. We're asking you to take a look at something called TED Talks. Uh, TED Talks are a wonderful resource for hearing the latest, greatest ideas from some of the best thinkers in the world. That's what we're going to do in our first class, is get all that set up. We're asking you to read the following chapters in your book. In our next class, we'll be looking at taking an understanding, I'm going to take a swing at understanding digital citizenship. And then here, we're going to be asking you to use a tool that we find is more fun than a box of puppies. Uh, if you don't enjoy playing around inside of GoAnimate, uh, your soul is dead. We need to have a chat because this is one of the best tools you'll ever lay your eyes on in terms of creating things. You click on this link, it's going to take you straight in. We're going to create a video. We'll use the business friendly, don't let that throw you. Uh, there are plenty of backgrounds, etc., in here that have to do with education. We'll make our own characters. In other words, you're going to create your own avatar that will inhabit your world of GoAnimate for schools so that when you go to make a video, you can be the star. We're going to show you how to do that. Not on Monday. We'll probably do that on Tuesday. And I'm going to be asking you to create a GoAnimate uh, that basically talks about your experiences with technology. Uh, you might be a heavy user, you might be a light user, but you, everyone anymore has an experience with technology. It can be about in the classroom or just your experiences, your personal experiences. We're then going to ask you to take a look at some of the seeing technology exercises in one of the PowerPoints, and again, create a go animate about it. On our third class, the following this week coming up, we kind of do a deep dive into our digital citizenship. We're going to talk about something called the digital tattoo. Uh, we're going to walk through how to use these various tools to find out about ourselves. We're going to then create what's called a word cloud. We're going to ask you to describe your, your digital tattoo with eight words that you put into the word cloud, and then that will go into your wiki. You're going to read this article that is linked here to Social Networking Nightmares. 
This is a classic example of how the digital uh, citizen can get into trouble very, very quickly, especially people in education. And then finally, we're going to create a Celio site so that you can have a nameplate location so that you have a way to show people who you are and what you are and what you have created that you don't have to rely upon the use of social media to do that. So as you can see, we're going to be busy people. Um, we will have three very simple rules in this class. If you are physically in the class and present for the class, the rule goes like this. Three rules. Rule number one, you're going to be an adult. You are an adult. You're going to be treated like an adult. If you finish your work for the class, you may leave. If you are the kind of person who works better outside of the classroom environment, so that after you have gotten the content for the day, you have the understandings of what the content that you're going to go and demonstrate your understanding of, once you have all that, and if you work better at home on your computer, you may leave. Rule number two, I care about you. I want to know if you're okay. So if you can't come to class, or if you're going to be late for class, let me know. I've already told you a million times now my text number, and there are those of you who are already taken advantage of it. It's 502-457-2937. We will not take attendance. There will not be a penalty for being late, but just let me know. So that if you're having problems, if you're falling behind, I can help. That's rule number two. Rule number three. There is no one of us who is any smarter than all of us. There is no one of us who is any smarter than all of us. We've already seen that in action. Morgan sent me a text message and said, Hey, Steve, you might want to look at that link in Module 1 that's supposed to take us to the wiki we're going to use. It takes us to another site called Wikispaces, which is going out of business real soon. She's absolutely right. And I appreciate that kind of courage to speak up and say, Hey, you got something wrong here, boss. No one of us is any smarter than all of us. That means when we're in class, talking to each other, looking over each other's shoulders, how are you doing that? Oh, that's cool. Can I do that? Of course you can. We don't call it cheating. We call it collaborating. We want you to feel like you're in a class where your ideas can be shared and the other people's ideas in the class are just as valuable and just as important as your ideas. It's when we get into this sort of I can do better than you mentality that things go downhill real fast in a classroom. That's it. Those are those three simple very straightforward rules. I will be in the College of Education in the ERTC, which is that big room where all the computers live. We will be in what I call the fishbowl, which is 201G. You come in through the door, you take a right, and that whole wall of windows, that'll be our classroom for the next three weeks. I will have treats out there for you because you're coming in right in the middle of lunch. If you want to bring your lunch in and sit down outside the classroom and eat, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, we will get together and we will have a fun, I guarantee you, a fun class. So I look forward to seeing you on Monday morning, excuse me, Monday afternoon, sorry about that, Monday afternoon at 1230. Class is scheduled to run to 430, but remember... Rule number one trumps all. See you Monday.